to South Africa. They have announced their side and there are a lot of changes from what we saw last week up against the Wallabies. But in this video, we will be announcing what the Springbok lineup is for the upcoming second test match up against Australia. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Nonetheless, let's get straight into it. Right, so South Africa have made drastic changes compared to what we saw in last week's defeat. We'll get straight into it. Number one, Stephen Kitsoff. Number two, Malcolm Marks. And then number three, Franz Madharba. So two changes from what we saw last week. Instead of Oxnashe and Joseph Dweber, it will be Stephen Kitsoff and Malcolm Marks. I think it's a strategic plan with the scrum. First of all, for Kitsoff, he's very dangerous. And then Malcolm Marks in a line-out. There are a few that are better. Quite interesting though, no Joseph Dweber in the lineup or the reserves for this match. But looking through at the locks, unchanged from last week, Eben Etzebeth slots in at number four. And then number five, it is Alou Diaka. And then we see a few changes in the loose forward trio. The captain does remain at number six with Sia Khaleesi. Number seven, they have got rid of Peter Steph de Toy. And instead, it will be Franco Moster. And then number eight, no Dwayne Vermeulen in the starting lineup. Instead, it is a Jasper Visa, so he is back in there after missing last week. He does find himself back in the starting lineup, but that is the four pack. Now we look at the back line, and once again, there are a lot of changes that the Springboks have made. Number nine, Jaden Hendricks, and number 10, they have gone Damian Valimza. So a man who has been playing extremely well at fullback, they have now decided to take him out of that spot and put him into fly half. So it will be interesting to see how he goes at international level as a 10. Number 11, they have stuck with Makazoli Mapimpi in the midfield. There is a change, bit of an unexpected one. It will be Damien Dialende at number 12, and then number 13, Jesse Creel. So no Lukanyo Am in the starting lineup for the Springboks. Then out on the right wing, it's a debut for Cannon Moody. I'm excited to see what he can do. We've watched him in the URC and the Curry Cup, and now he will get his opportunity up against the Wallabies. And then number 15 to close out the starting lineup for the Springboks. It is Willie LaRue, but that is the starting lineup. Now we look through at the reserves, and they are going to be as follows. Now I mentioned no Joseph Weber. Number 16, it is Dion Fori. Now I didn't even realise this man could play hooker, but I guess when you're a utility forward, there's a few tricks up your sleeve. So Dion Fori, probably not where he expected to be playing for the Springboks, but of course he will take the cap. Nonetheless, then in the front row replacements for the props, it will be Oxnashe. At number 17, and then number 18, Trevor Nakanya. Now, they haven't gone with one of the stock standard locks that they'd normally go with in their lineups. Instead, it will be Kwaha Smith at number 19. Number 20, Dwayne Vermeulen. Number 21, a massive return. I'm glad to see this man in the side. Kobus Reinach does get the opportunity. He always is able to get the ball going on the front foot, which I think is exactly what the box do need. There was quite a bit of kicking in the last week's match. They would love to be able to run it. Just a little bit more this week. Then number 22, a lot of experience here. It is Franz Stein. And then number 23, to close out the starting lineup and reserves, it will be Warwick Lamp. But that is the Springbok side. Do let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Did you expect to see this many changes for the second match? Hopefully it does end up going all right for them. It is a very important match in the Rugby Championship. If they win this and New Zealand win up against Argentina, we could see all sides once again neck and neck. Heading into the last two matches and the box, they have got Argentina as their final opposition. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all for the next one.